Okay, uh, so this is Fernando Ribeiro. Has been a while since my last video recording. Uh, I've been super busy, busy at work, and uh, I'm finally back. And uh, for now, we we plan starting a series of updated videos about content creation. And of course, if we will start talking about content creation, it makes sense uh, showing what we already have for Yuma, uh, assets already available. So here on Asset Store, I'm going to search for Yuma keywords. This will bring me uh, all assets already available. So this is interesting because uh, we already have uh, the tutorial files uh, that I'm providing. We have tools that uh, make uh, simplify the process of uh, of their creation. So tools like the Yuma Power Tools, uh, Yuma Recipe Tools, Yuma Helper Pack, the Yuma Wizards, and Yumazin. So basically, those will save you a lot of time if you're, for for example, uh, an artist and you don't have uh, programming backgrounds or experience. Uh, this those tools will probably help you uh, testing your content without uh, the need of uh, further uh, programming knowledge as the, the basic Yuma pack uh, requires. We have uh, some overlays like the Athena and Dionysius uh, that I've been working on. Those are based on 3D scans. So those are basically uh, texture bundles to work with, uh, with Yuma authors. Uh, we have the amazing uh, Guardian Armor set from the Stronghearted Studios. Uh, this provides both overlays and slots for the armor sets. And we have the high poly uh, slots uh, for the base meshes of male and female author. Uh, also, we have the Arteria 3D. Uh, uh, this guy is not, for now, not providing the, the content on the asset star, but you can uh, access his content here in the Yuma uh, toolbar. So you can actually see some interesting content here as well, uh, from World War and uh, futuristic armors and uh, oven uh, armor for fantasy. So this is basically the content already available for Yuma. And of course, if we are talking about content creation, I would also like to show you the here on GitHub. Now we have the extra files for Yuma. And here I'm providing the content pack. If you're a content creator and you're looking for the files, uh, base files so you can generate the, the your own meshes, your armors, overlays, this kind of thing. It's basically the same content pack that I've provided on my own website, but uh, I've updated the FBX files considering the changes for uh, triangulation. Uh, mesh triangulation. And I also updated the blend file, uh, including the separated mesh, also triangulated. Um, I'm also including here the documentation file on a, um, on a extension that you can actually change and edit. So if you're willing to help documenting Yuma and uh, keeping it updated, uh, you can actually change and edit this file and send me back so I can uh, update both here and on, on the asset store itself. So I will open here the Blender.
Okay, I've opened it here Blender, latest version, as you can see. And basically what I'm going to do is to open the separated file from the content pack that I've uh, shown. So this is basically where we had changes. That's why I'm going to show you this. So now we have here both male and female avatars strangulated um, with all the materials. And I'm also providing the um, separated meshes, as you can see, both male and female. With everything already set, names and materials. Also, uh, looks like on the old content creation pack, I didn't include the female uh, separated heads for using together with the Elven Eaters. Same, uh, I'm still providing for the male one. And uh, of course, this is also triangulated. And of course, we have the original file. This one is not triangulated. Uh, so if you're looking or planning to export for F, uh, for ZBrush, uh, Mudbox, or something like that, it's really recommended that you export using this one. Also remembering, uh, as this is uh, already rigged and skinned, I've kept the frame number one. Uh, with the standard pose for ZBrush and overall uh, sculpting software where we have the eyes closed and mouth o uh, open. This is especially good for sculpting. So we have a more uh, neutral pose for uh, avoiding stretching on the eyes and uh, this area here. So this is the base files I'm providing now and uh, I hope this is useful for you. I will start recording new videos for creating slots and overlays and using Yuma Material Builder now. So I will be uploading those new videos on the following days. So that's it. Goodbye guys. See ya.